Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again. Let's continue now our retail lighting design tutorial. The topic now is how to aim spotlights. So I run another calculation and I aim some of the spotlights already. And this is the effect. The overall evaluation, see now I focus all the spotlights on the merchandise, on the racks, and the shelves are more brighter now. And here in the wall, it's not that so even illumination still, but I made it a little uh, better compared before. And uh, what else? All the lights are now, it's not now focusing on the middle, but on the merchandise. And see, I have lots of spotlights on the mannequins. See, you can see the orange one. It seems too much, um, but it's fine. Because orange is 3000 lux. I think I need to reduce the lumen output of the luminar. I need to select uh, at least a lower one or reduce the fittings. So what I did, so let's go and check it in the rendering. So yeah, looks like this. And if we go to the plan view, press Control R so we can see the arrows of the spotlights towards the area see if i focus a lot of uh, spotlights on the <clears throat> merchandise yeah and if you go to the plan view you can see that it's almost uh, typical to the other side whatever you can see here will be the same with the other side and you can see that i aim the spotlights a little angles so i can accommodate all the shelvings and then i changed the some of the spotlights into narrow beam because the original one is before is a wide flood or wide beam or flood beam so i changed uh, four spotlights here with a narrow beam and some here i also changed with narrow beams so you can see it here now and i focus some spotlights also here in the back shelvings and also, I focus the spotlights already on the shelvings, the oven shelves, like this. But you can see now that, um, let's go back to the rendering, that um, some of the areas are overlit and some areas are, see in the entrance, it's not that much. I don't think it's okay, but if we go to the entrance, imagine you're entering the store. It's better to have a bright vertical illumination than horizontal. So I think I just need to change this uh, two spotlights, this one, with wide beams. So it will not create much glare to the uh, customers who are entering the stores. And you can see now in the display window, perfect. So bright. It's very good. This is what the client wants. Very bright store. Um... You can see here that there's are still some dark spots because I don't have enough spotlights to be aimed towards here. I only have one, two, so that's why it's like that. And I have here only one, two on the other side. So because of the ceiling design, um, yeah, this is true that um, your lighting layout will sometimes hinder by the ceiling design. So yeah, I cannot do anything now because there's no spotlights in this area and if we aim too much of spotlights on this um, rocks then it will create much clear all right so i create uh, what i did because i'm going to edit again this this retail shop so what i did is I, I copied this file with another one and then i will aim the spotlights again and i will use this one as a reference so i have it now here so this is the one so this is the one i'm going to edit Control r and the other one will be my reference okay so just copy your file into two make one as your reference and the other one edit and by the way i change also the luminaires in the fitting room with a regular louver fitting but it seems uh, it's not good I selected a little narrow beam 
but still it's it doesn't look good because if we can check the previous design where's my pseudo color okay here you go if we can check the previous design in this pseudo color the stock room is bright enough using those luminaires with um, bat wings so i think we will change it again with the bat wings okay for the fitting rooms i did not change anything same so uh all right we will change again this uh, fitting room with the original one it looks good in the rendering but uh if we check it to the color see on the bottom still it's not good um it's it only plays with ah i think this is enough this is 300 lux on the floor and 300 lux here and this one is 400 lux i think this is fine okay i think this stock room is is, is fine enough yeah 300 lux on the floor and on the shelvings it plays with uh, 600 to 300 lux uh the problem is here this is only 100 lux it's uh purple okay if we can find a little more narrow and then uh, we will change it again but this one is uh i think this is fine compared to the first one that is really bright yeah because we're trying to achieve 500 lux at the bottom but it's not um yeah this is fine all right let's uh let's not change it for a while. It, it looks good now okay so i selected a louver fitting uh, i think this is a 2 by 28 so this is fluorescent it's not led anymore okay this is fine all right so let's continue now and let's edit the aiming of the other file okay so let's focus now this copy file so like like what i mentioned i need to change these two fittings or spotlights with um with um white beam so let's select this one and uh okay you cannot replace it by like that because it's in the group okay let's just delete this one and then copy some of the yeah some of the white beam here control c control v it's not copy well it's not copying i don't know why so let's just put it so put an arrangement here and then let's put the two and then rotate and then center to center and then go to elevation view and make sure it is arranged with the other one let's move it okay let's go to the plan view again and um ah, i go to the building tab to check it in, in the uh, channel it should be in, uh, inserted properly in the channel so edit line and then let's move it in the elevation again okay i think this is okay no this is not okay select move this one only move a little there okay all right <clears throat> So now let's aim it and go to, to the light tab again and select and go to your edit joints. Select it, go to the 3D and you can aim it to your entrance a little. Make sure you selected the uh, lever of the luminaire so it will only aim the spotlights, not the whole body. So let's go and aim it a little here. Uh, that is too much, maybe here only. And this one, let's aim it somewhere here. So let's go to the plan view and check. Okay. Um, let's aim it more here. I don't know why it's not aiming properly. Again. Okay, let's try again here. Go. okay fine so let's go to the 3d and see how it looks ah okay there you go okay so i think this is not aligned let's go to the elevation side again aha 
I see one fitting. Why this is see this is the effect of not aligning the the luminaire properly. Okay, I think this one is you have to make it zero zero again. Go to the light tab and this is zero and zero. Okay, let's double check. Okay, also this one. Go to this um, light tab and make it zero and zero. Perfect. Okay, that is fine. Um, hmm. So what else? Let's go to the plan view again and check those amines. Uh, it goes somewhere now because we changed it. So let's go to the 3D again and properly aim it to these shelvings. So go to the edit joints and make sure you selected the luminaire properly. Yeah, okay. Now aim it to the shelvings. Very good. Go to the plan view check. Okay, this is fine. And again this one because we changed it so we need to aim it again and make sure that you selected the fitting properly so you need to see the green and the blue lever and then aim it again again go to the plan view okay somebody's crying okay and then this is fine so yep Okay, what else? If you want to have a precise aiming, you can select the fittings one by one and instead of aiming it manually, you can aim it um, through the numbers. Right? Like, like for example, I want to aim this one. For example, you can see that's 11 degrees and negative 66. If I change it to negative 68, now this is what will happen. If I change it to negative, oops, Say negative 64 or negative. Um, oh, okay, let's make it um, 14 degrees. Oh, that's too much. 13. Okay, so you can you can you can um, aim the spotlights using these orientation tabs, or you can do it by manual. So let's make it 12 degrees. It looks too much. Okay. And then, for example, this one, you want to edit also this one. So to, let's make it negative 90 degrees. Yeah, so it's good. Can we make it 11 degrees instead? Yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, that's how you can uh, edit it manually. Let's make it 68 or 72. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is good. So yes, that ha that's how you aim it. Okay, I also saw one in the selling area. Let's go to the pseudo color. See this um, little groove of light here because I did not put anything on this side because these four are aimed toward the counter and to the shelvings. That's why there's a blank space here. So maybe I can just aim one of these floodlights or spotlights towards there and the rest will be, uh, I can select maybe this one to aim here and this one aim here. So let's go and aim this one. But this one is a spotlight, not a floodlight or white beam. So I don't know what will be the effect. Um, yeah, but let's just try. So let's make it 12 degrees. Okay, that's good. And this one, let's aim it to the counter instead. Because, yes, I changed it here. And then, what else? Let's move this one a little to the right. Here. Let's make it 13 degrees. Yes, okay. Yes. So just uh, edit or um, you can aim the spotlights manually or using this um, orientation tabs like what I'm doing right now. 68 degrees or 72. Yes, and then make it 13 degrees. Okay, make it 74. Perfect, and then 12. Okay. Okay, I need to align it properly. Alright, so that's how you do it. 
be very patient in aiming it because yeah it's really takes time so maybe we can run a calculation for this one what else do we need to do uh, I, I see that these uh, LEDs are I can see that's the spotlights or the LEDs every LEDs on this um, wall so I think I need to adjust that one also so go to the luminaire uh, light tab and then go to the elevation view control R again to remove these um, arrows and then select this one go to the plan view and okay let's move this spotlight a little farther away or let's embed it in the wall because in, in actual it's very thin so because you want to remove the um, the dots on the wall because it's too obvious so we're, we're moving it out or embedding it more on the wall okay so I'm just going to continue this one and we will render it later okay one more thing I think uh, we need to aim some spotlights here in the middle even if it's already ah this is uh, 700 lux already because I'm planning to aim some spotlights from this merchandise towards here and here also and yeah because it's focused most of these fittings are focusing on the merchandise and it's overlit it looks too much yeah so I'm planning to add or in the spotlights away from these areas okay let's try this one because um, I'm this is too much this is 3000 lux I'm I will remove some spotlights over there okay so how to do that go and control R again and see how many spotlights are aiming towards there so look one one two three four five there's so many two four six eight almost ten ten spotlights and one two on the other sides so this is too much that's why okay so what I'm going to do is aim some spotlights this is how many degrees let's double check uh, this is 12 degrees okay still fine this one is 16 degrees this one is uh, this is towards here also okay <clears throat> okay I will aim these spotlights towards here because it needs more illumination now this is 23 degrees so it's still fine and I want to aim these spotlights on the other side okay let's undo it because I need this oops I need the spotlights towards the mannequin mannequin is very important should be highlighted properly all right so I think I will run a calculation now and see how it looks later all right <laughs> 